This is new. <laughs> Let's spin the wheel and pick one thing to talk about on this one today. We're going with the crane game on this one today. <laughs> no, I did not rob a store or a storage locker or a convenience store. Everything here has a story. Stay tuned. Alright guys, you're not Jeff, you're not following me on all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Again, going heavy, especially also on YouTube uh, shorts. If you watch that short, you would kind of just see like me going to pick these things up. Uh, but again, on Instagram, TikTok, and all that, be sure to follow all the socials. You would see everything. As I always say in all my videos, get used to it. Wow, every single piece here has a little bit of a story. Not really every single piece, I should say. It's actually divided up amongst two separate customers slash people. So we're going to be talking about this in a separate video on this one today. We're going to be talking about this crane game and surprisingly a lot of DMs and people are like, whoa, how much for the crane? <laughs> Let's take it nice and slow. Let me explain what's going on. So before anything, we'll make some room. I don't think I need that much room for this crane. Luckily, the crane is on wheels. I moved the cocktail table out of the way. Uh, but yes, there's always something to talk about with these, and I always try to film everything because it makes for good content, whether you like it or not. I like to shoot videos, and yeah. On this one today, we're gonna be talking about this very unique crane game. Uh, it's actually a funny story how the person kind of saw me uh, slash messaged me. Um, this is not the only thing that he is possibly letting me fix, slash he is also a potential customer of a four player by Vic cabinet. So again, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on. I do kind of feel kind of locked in. So I'm just, just move this stuff around a little bit. Definitely so want to get the cocktail table out of the way, which is a unique piece in its own. Move some stuff out of the way. We're going to launch up the crane game. And yes, I always take care of everything. Whenever it's in my hands, I try to take care of everything. I don't want anything scratching, bumping into things. He gave it to me like this. I do want to give it back to him. The biggest thing though is that this is throwing an error. Um, I've never worked on a crane game. So I said, hey, why not? Uh, and hopefully I do get it up and running and fixed. So as far as how the customer kind of saw me, uh, it's actually pretty funny. I was going out to my parents' house. I have my truck. If you haven't seen like my truck, I'm actually due for a new truck next month. My lease is up. Uh, I have logos all over my truck. I have Game Case Arcades. I got the phone number, the business phone number. I have the Linktree QR code there. So people on the street, it's actually funny with Linktree. It actually tells you like how many people click and on what they're clicking on. So there is a lot of activity. So it's pretty cool. I was at my parents' house. And I actually pulled up to my parents' house and there was somebody walking on the sidewalk. Uh, it was a young lady and I guess her father. Uh, and they just kind of stared at my truck, like reading everything. Um, and I just kind of wave. I'm, it's kind of like awkward to be like, hey, do you, are you interested? I don't do that. Um, so anyway, I go into the house and about two minutes later, I'm getting a phone call from the business phone number, but I had to go out to my parents' house, so I didn't answer it. She left me a voicemail. It turns out that we apparently went to school together. <laughs> She still lives in the area where my parents are. Uh, it turns out we went, I don't really know her. I don't remember her. I said, I'm sorry, I was a quiet kid growing up. But she's named my elementary school, my middle school, and my high school. So we must have all gone to the same school because she was also my same age. Uh, in the voicemail, she said, hey, my husband is looking for an arcade cabinet. Maybe you could help me out. Then she gave me the husband's number. And now we are at this point. Uh, so it's kind of cool. The husband, the you know, the husband is really the family. Are going to be potential customers. They actually came. He dropped this off to me, uh, and then it was a great opportunity. I showed him my game room. He's never seen a real pinball machine, so he saw the Jersey Jacks. Um, you know, it's awesome. That's why I have my game room. It's kind of also a showcase room. No, I don't really let everybody in my house. It's kind of weird, uh, but <laughs> yes. Uh, so he came in. He is looking at a four player or a two player arcade game for his Airbnbs. I've done that many times, but he does also want like light guns. And I was explaining to him that when you go into the light gun realm, you need a PC build and uh, it's not very user friendly. And 
When it comes to Airbnbs, you don't want to get that phone call at 9 p.m. saying, hey, my, we're trying to play this game. How does it work? You don't want to give instructions. Anyway, in the gist of it, he did tell me, hey, Vic, I have this crane game. I bought it two years ago at an arcade auction, which is why you can kind of see this number here. I didn't buy this. He bought this. Uh, it didn't work at the auction. Uh, he did spend, I was surprised, he did tell me it was 600 bucks for the crane. Um, and he also did get a Jurassic Park. Uh, I believe it was, it's a lost world. Um, he does have a Jurassic Park. He said it worked at the auction. He put it on his back. He brought it upstate, took it out, and it doesn't power on anymore. So again, you basically have somebody now that has two cabinets. I'm down to fix it. I'm down to try it. You know, I'll, I'll make, I'm going to make my attempt to fix it because right now he told me it's been in storage for two years. Uh, so I said, hey, bring it over to me. You can check out my arcade cabinets. We could talk about a new cabinet. So it's pretty cool. So we have a potential customer slash somebody that needs this crane and a Jurassic Park. I have to wait for him to bring it though. He is, it is a tank. It is a, it's a big machine. Uh, not the monster one, not the modern Jurassic Park. It's an old school one, probably like the, I don't know. I believe it was the Lost World. It's just two guns. It's a very flat cabinet. I'll, I'll post a picture of it here. Um, he was gonna bring that also with this, but it was him alone upstate and it was, it's a tank. So yes, on this one though, let's take a look at this crane machine. I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm not big on these crane games, uh, especially they said I go to round one, round one arcade by me in Hicksville. There is a ton of, they have, they have the, 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 the Japanese style crane games where it's just like two forks and, uh, it's, it's, I'm not a fan of these crane games. I didn't like them. I mean, I liked them grew, growing up cause I was younger. But um, now as an adult, I don't like them. They're very big money grabbers. And then not to mention, I read the manual on this one. I believe this specific crane is set for like, you keep playing until you win. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a setting you could do that for. Um, but you know, reading the manual, these things are basically rigged. Uh, it's whatever the amount of payout it has, it will basically make the claw stronger. So again, I told him, I said, I never experienced a crane. He goes, Vic, it's been sitting for two years. You're down to try it. I said, I'm down for anything. It makes for great YouTube content. Why not? <laughs> I'm also the type where like, I tell people all the time, like if you have something that's broken, do, don't throw it out. Do not throw it out. That's where some people hate me, where I'll put multi cades in a broken Pac-Man. And if it's broken, it's broken. People don't want to pay for new CRT machines. They don't even want to pay for new Pac-Man boards or power supplies. And the worst is when you just throw out the wood and the wood, honestly, for a cabinet, it's more than that. But again, he said, Vic, if you're down to try it, it's been sitting there. I tried it. I gave up on it. And I said, all right, let's bring it on down. Let's check it out. So this, honestly, it is newer. Uh, it's got LEDs on it. It's got like an LED joystick on it. I'm going to load it up. Uh, we loaded up real quick when he dropped it off, but it just had this music that kept replaying. And I'm also going to annoy you with that. And then I'm going to cut to hopefully when I either decide to figure out to mute the music. But growing up, uh, you know, where I was, they, we had two or three cranes called prize times. And, uh, you know, I know my, I know prize times, you know, you got the dun 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 and it's like, you know, and if you tap it, it goes dun 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 And then when you drop, it's like dun 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 That's my prize time impression, but yes. Uh, this one though is kind of newer. It's definitely smaller. Um, it looks cool. It is missing a piece of the plastic off of the claw, but right now it is throwing an error message. He even gave me a manual. I even did some Googling before he dropped it off. It's got an error 07 message. What does that mean? I have no idea. Hopefully it says something inside of the manual. When he did drop it off to me, I looked at the base and there's actually, there was a button, which is kind of like, I guess like the setup button. I pressed it and he's like, whoa, what did you do? How did you get there? So it's always kind of shocking to me, not in a bad way though, I'm, I'm not saying this in a bad way, but it's always shocking to me that some people just, they're afraid to put their hands in and push a button. It doesn't work right now. So what is there to lose? <laughs> push the button. <laughs> but uh, we'll, uh, we'll basically open this on up. Uh, it, 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 it has like this board here. I don't know what this is supposed to look like. Assembled, sweet spot, winner every time. Uh, I would assume this is like a plaque up here. Yeah, there's actually holes on the front. So there's your first discovery there. We'll put this on the side. And uh, again, this kind of platform, it, it, it did come out in transit. I had to find out where this would go. But 
Yep, I'll take you in a little bit closer now. I'm hoping that this control board comes out. And it's kind of funny, this actually has a tilt bob on it. <laughs> Let me bring you in close. So taking a look real quick, I also noticed, I told him, I was like, oh, I see like the vinyl is coming off. It looks like a sticker. Yeah, look at that, it's like double-sided tape. So I'll see if I can reapply that. Maybe I could put like, you know, glue and then kind of re-vinyl it if I could. It's a cute little machine. It's on wheels, very convenient. It's got a very simple plug here with the switch. Awesome stuff. I don't know the name of the company that makes it. Hopefully the manual will tell me something, but let's take a look inside real quick. So when he dropped it off to me, like, again, I've never worked on a crane game, so keep this in mind. Uh, this wheel right here was off. Like, it was like, I guess in transit something happened. So, again, I've never experienced a, tra a, a crane game before. I'm going to make sure that the wheels are in track. There's, there's a lot going on here. It's a wiring this though was the main thing so check it out here again there was this piece of wood here it kind of covered this as a platform you got your drop shoot here look at that it's got a little tilt bob on it look at that so i guess if somebody tries to tilt it over it'll probably i doubt that there is no lock mechanism obviously there's no like magnet i can just so i wonder it probably just makes a loud alarm noise but right now this is all i see and as far as i mentioned before this is the button i pressed before this green I'm hoping this board comes out. It does feel a little loose. So I'm hoping this kind of comes out so I could work on stuff. Again, never worked on, ooh, this, I'm hoping this is the volume. All right, let's load this up, let's plug this in, and you will basically experience what he's experiencing. All right. All right, here we go. I got my nice little trusty outlet up here. Powered in, we're gonna turn it on. Screen says waiting. The claw moved. Arrow seven. So this just kept playing on loop. <laughs> Let me just bring you close and take a look at the error messages here. I'm hoping that there's more LEDs to it. I'm gonna have to open it up. I'll probably add LEDs to it, but as of right now, you can just hear the endless music. And again, we do have an error 07. So I'm gonna just try to figure out number one. I mean, I see the speaker, I could just pull the speaker. But uh, yeah, this is it. So I'm glad to see the claw move. <laughs> So it's a regular speaker. You got your, you know, positive and negative. I just took one out. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, I could. So at least I could hear myself think now. <laughs> but yeah, now it's the. Um, this is the fun I get now. This is where I, you know, there's an issue with this. Again, I'm happy that the claw went back home. It did not do that when he dropped it off. But again, that it was off the track. So. We're getting somewhere. I do see actually LEDs up here. This should be lit up. That means there's probably LEDs underneath. But yeah, here we uh, go. I'm probably not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna try to take the board out and uh, let's see how that goes. So just playing around the settings real quick. The actual manual says for full codes, 07 means upper claw fretting fault. Um, I'm guessing it's that because I could go through the test menu. I could go forward. I go back, I go left, and I could go right, but an up and down, I'm stuck. I could also test grab. So that's all good. And our manual says that we have basically probably the, the drop wire here is probably tangled up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out there's basically two connections back here. And then I'm hoping that the whole assembly just comes out. It looks like it would. But yeah, we're getting somewhere at least. Stay tuned. Okay, so to catch you up to speed right now, I'm gonna show you everything, but I got it working. That is the best part of it. So right now I'm actually gonna mimic what occurred as far as when it actually came to me. It's crazy, New York weather, I have the garage open now. Uh, it's crazy, it was freezing yesterday, but today is good. So. 
basically what would happen is if I power this down, there's like this micro switch here. And that's like how I kind of think these through. I'm like, this, this used to work before, so there's something that's wrong. And basically for like an hour and a half, there's two micro switches here. There's one here by the claw, and there's one up here with this like mech that keeps going on like that. So sure enough, if I try to mimic this, uh, I believe it was that. If I turn the machine on, and yes, I found the volume controller. Thank goodness, it's kind of cool. It's got like this like thing here. So right now it went home, not to mention when I first got it, home was back there. Um, now it's in the correct spot where it drops the toy. Uh, right now I have nothing on the screen. I was getting immediately an error 07, there it is. So I right now have an error 07 message. So now keep in mind, I have this like totally open so you could see it. I didn't do this when I was testing, no joke for an hour and a half. So as you can see, I'm getting this error 07 message and then inside the manual, the only thing that we get is an 07 message, the upper claw fretting fault. And this manual is god awful. It is definitely uh, overseas translated to English and it's not even translated correct. So I just kept getting this error 07. Then I found out there's like a test button here so I can press the test button. There's ways to test the gantry and I could go like forward and back. So I could go left and right. So this was all good, but when it came to up and down, nothing would happen. So I said to myself, like, oh, maybe it's something with these switches. So sure enough, I would, I went like this, and this stays up, and it drops quickly down though. So again, I'm testing this button here. So if I press the test button, it goes up, but when I go down, it hits this. And I'm like, what? If I held this up, it'll go up and down. Basically just a lot of trial and error, but at least I found out this is the issue I had. When I rebooted the system, it no longer gave me an error. I'm able to go into the main menu. So again, I just rebooted, it went back home. It actually drops this down and then I get the error. But now as you can see, I'm able to play. So I have this set to free play and I'm able to control. But the issue is that once I try to drop the hammer, we get nowhere and then we're stuck. And now it's like nothing. Computer kind of is like, what's going on? So I actually bypassed this and uh, I'll show you that real quick. I just don't want, yeah, there's your error 07 number again. So let's reboot it again and I'll show you what I did. Again, long story short, it's basically the way this wire is, it is wrong. There's actually, you know, two pulleys that has to go through. It just, maybe in transit, the wire came out, but all in all, I figured out, I right now don't have it set correctly. But again, as you can see, like I can't drop, but I could lift. And then there's also this, I added some WD-40. So this right here should actually, when this goes up, and I don't want to go off the track, but when this goes up, it actually is supposed to release, and I can't do it now because of the yarn. Hold on, I'll show you. So basically, once the claw goes up, it actually releases the micro switch, as you can see there. The claw doesn't go up all the way up here, but it's basically enough that once it releases the micro switch, then it knows to go home. So I discovered that, then I looked at a quick YouTube video, and then sure enough, this wiring job right here, this yarn is not in the correct spot. Now the wiring is correct. So check it out, it starts here. It goes down underneath this, that, that this is like the hammer, it drops. It's gotta go back up to the pulley up here and then straight down. So check it out, again, up and down. I'm no longer having an issue here. How does this get activated though? Basically, if there's a toy here and this goes up, there's the activation there. So if there's a toy here, it drops the hammer. That's how this works. So it's pretty cool. Again, just watching a couple of videos, you can figure out what's wrong. Boom, see that? I'm right now still in test mode, so it doesn't go home. But again, you could see once the claw comes back up, bang, it releases that micro switch. I did have to add WD-40 to the spring because it was stiff. So that was another little thing. But all in all, this thing does work now. Awesome. Basically got everything back together. We're gonna turn the switch on. It's gonna go through its whole like homing. Does a quick test. I do have the volume here, so it's on the actual board. So if I can find it. Again, it's set the free play, so good left, right, up and down. Awesome. We'll try to grab this pin. Cool. Nice, and it's got a good grab to it, yeah. So, <laughs> again, this is set to free play though. Customer does want this set to free play, but you could set it to coin mode. It's just kind of annoying because the music doesn't stop. 
But as you can see, we try to grab this ball. Nah. Now, that that music would drive you crazy. Also, kind of disappointed that you don't get like uh, uh, this brand of crane. It doesn't like you know. Usually, when you win something, there's actually a sensor here, so the text you know that you won. But there's no audio difference. That kind of sucks. Usually, like the menu, like the music, like I mentioned before, a prize time. The guy would be like, "Oh, try again," or like you know, we got a winner. But uh, nothing on this. Uh, also, I did enable in the menu uh, the it's called mid air grab, so I could grab in air. So you can actually turn that off. But again, it's pretty cool. That's why it's very important when you have the yarn wired correctly. Once this gets activated, it hits the switch. So if I have a, for example, the drill here, let's say a tall toy, it knows to grab it. And it almost took, I almost won a drill. <laughs> but as far as like a, a lower toy, it's just, it's just cool to see. And again, you could do a, you know, mid-air grab. Now, the only thing now I'm, I am trying to find, this does need new claws. It does need new tips. There's one good one but the other two are broken. I found it on eBay, it's a 15 pack for, I think it was 30 bucks. Uh, so I did make an offer on eBay, it does come from China. So it kind of sucks right now because I don't know when it's gonna come. Uh, not to mention I did make an offer so I'm trying to wait for them to reply. Uh, it's cheap, it's cheap plastic. But right now we got the main thing, the crane works. Now the second thing, customer didn't you know ask me for this but there is LEDs in this. And uh, I got to make this thing work. Got to make it look good. So right now we're going to tackle the LEDs. I will keep you posted. There's LEDs up above. And then I would assume that there's LEDs in the corners here. I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be a flashy thing. So yeah, I'll get to work on that right now. At least the claw works. Yeah. Also real quick, just before I cut, this was, it looks like it was taking tokens. Um, this, the token says here, Bowcraft Amusement Park, B-O-W, it's either C-R-A-F-T or G-R-A-F-T, Bowcraft or Bowcraft. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get, oh, I ran out of time. <laughs> maybe I'll just, uh, zoom in on that, but you could set it to take coins. I believe this is the same size as a quarter. It's kind of like your, uh, basic, uh, China coin door. Um, not really a fan of those coin doors, but yeah, you could set this to coin mode. Customer does not want it set to coin mode, so let's go. Let's tackle onto these LEDs. So usually when I work, I cut the camera, but I just discovered this one real quick. So again, you know, I put you there, I have the sunlight coming in, but check this out. Basically something over here, if I touch around these wires, it looks like we have a short, so it happened so quick. I was like, oh, let me get the camera because maybe I could mimic it, but basically something brought the lights back on. <laughs> and as you can see now, with me turning on the camera, I no longer can mimic this. It's kind of annoying. It's definitely something over here. Again, it was a nice kind of cool blue. It wasn't really white, it was like a blue hint. Uh, and yeah, of course, I grabbed the camera and I, I can't mimic it again. <laughs> but basically there's probably a short somewhere around here uh either something got disconnected here i'm hoping this is like an led channel that i could pop this out and wow i went to go grab the camera and i no longer can mimic this so it's kind of crazy it's it's definitely it's definitely oh there it is <laughs> oh there it goes <laughs> it's definitely oh there it is <laughs> oh there it goes <laughs> <laughs> there it is and there it goes there it is and there it goes but yes something is here so i'm happy it's there <laughs> well after about an hour of tackling basically making the call to just rewire for leds this crane is officially done so i did grab it i believe i did you know it's about an hour later I'm pretty sure you saw when I was basically messing around with the wires here inside this channel, the LEDs did come on real quick. Basically upon, you know, trial and error, the wire that's going from the channel to the actual power supply, there was something wrong in between. And basically I just read in the wire. 
way more easier than that. I even put the this little banner thing that came with it. Didn't come with screws, but I had two screws lying around. All in all, now with the LEDs on, this is a great looking crane. I do have the volume low. I don't understand it. I keep setting it to zero for the music. And every time you reboot, it keeps going back to one. So best thing and easiest thing is just keep the volume off. Again, set the free play. I'll put the volume up a little bit. Again, it gets annoying. But uh, I'm going to make sure I check to see if you can see me. But uh, we'll talk about the crane first. Uh, but all in all, it works. Move the joystick. I put my kiddos like toy pins. You could grab. That was a very horrible example. But it's got a nice little sound to it when it drops and then when the crane goes or the claw. Not too bad. I am not at a good eye level height right now. <laughs> Come on, we gotta show the people that we could play this crane game. Go. There we go. Got this pink one, this pink one's fighting me. Boom. Boom, baby, there you go. <laughs> Kiddos like little bowling set that I never gave. I mean, awesome. It is cool. It is crazy, like, People are going nuts for these cranes. I'm very surprised. I have to turn the music off because it's just... <laughs> I'll take you in real quick and I'll show you what it is. But uh, I mean, again, I just posted the short for this and people are like, whoa, how much for the crane? What's the details on the crane? I don't know. Uh, for example, in this customer's setup, he does have an Airbnb. Uh, and he did tell me that he was going to basically put like some fun little toys for kids. He was also thinking about putting like toothbrushes and like toothpaste and you know basic stuff for like Airbnb in case you forgot it. So the gesture is cool. Uh, you just gotta keep in mind like a crane like this, there's certain like weights. Um, for example, there is a way that you could kind of set up like the strength of the claw. I right now have it like two notches below max. Uh, I had tried it at max, even I tried the actual speed of the crane, I tried to bump it up and it actually wouldn't work at all. Basically it was overpowering the power supply. So you just gotta be careful with that. You can't, I mean, probably like, you know, this is probably the heaviest that it could hold. Uh, I don't know like the weight on this, but uh, ah. And then as you can see, I mean, again, though, the other thing I'm waiting for now is the actual claw pieces, the tips. Those are broken. I found something on eBay. Uh, it's a 15 pack of tips for 30 bucks, but it does come from China. So I think that's kind of a pricey tip, not to mention they're plastic, but um, it works. I'm gonna probably wait to see what happens with that offer from eBay. If it goes through, then, you know, the customer just got to wait for it to be shipped to me. But all in all, it it's awesome. Would I want a crane game in my game room? This is me personally now. Um, I don't see, I don't, I, it's, it's a no for me. Um, it, this, I've seen smaller cranes and those are expensive. I think I've seen one for like 500 bucks. This customer got this on auction. Uh, it had the error message on auction, but the LEDs and everything worked. And he told me that when he bought it home, you know, shit hit the fan and everything. So he did buy this on auction for 600 bucks. Granted, yes, this is bigger than like the very mini ones that you see like on Amazon for like 450, this is bigger. Um, for retail space, and not to mention what's also shocking, this does have the coin counter on it. Uh, it did have tokens in it. This right now has 177 coins registered. I told uh, ALEXA to do the math if it was a quarter, and I believe that translates to about $44. So it's a fairly new machine. Um, it just kind of sucked that the claw kind of had that issue in the error message, but main thing is that it does work and I do like it with the LEDs. LEDs do make this look good. Not to mention there are two corners with the RGB LEDs. I think it's awesome. And the, the main thing is that it works. <laughs> just have to show you, I've never worked on a crane ever, but I am always down and up for the challenge. I'm just happy it works. It's awesome i just kind of wish that the music would not be so annoying and it would stop <laughs> even in like coin mode the music just goes so 
I have to basically just turn it off the volume. But yes, the next thing is really the claw tip. I did find from Retrocade, a new claw is like 80 bucks with the same type of yellow tips. Um, there's not much else I can talk about. It's on wheels. Uh, I'll show you real quick. Uh, let me do that now. I'll show you the audio controller. So it's pretty cool. It's got the keys to it. So you have basically one, two, three. It's a very like unique looking key, honestly. So you lock up. It's a flat key. So this key works for three doors, but then on the inside of this is the coin door. So basically, you pull this out. You do have your, what's crazy, it's got this voltmeter thing here, but you got like your coins, or you do have the test button here, but this does slide out. It's on like a, it's not even on a drawer, just a piece of wood. But basically, as you can see, so far when I fixed it, I did 90 plays so far. And right here is this little, it's a nub. It's like a knob, very simple volume knob. Awesome, this slides back, cool. Now what's cool with this, it does have a coin door on it. It's got a unique key for the coin door. It's got this kind of like round key, which is this right here. So you take your key, put it in, and it pulls out. And again, this has one token. <laughs> but yes, if the customer did want to wind up charging, you basically have to go into settings and then enable. You can even set how many credits. You can set how long the timer goes. Wow, the LED's here. <laughs> I hope you can see that. Yeah, and it says one coin, 20 seconds. But again, it's set to free play right now. So no matter what you do, it's always going to have this one coin. And you could do the in-air grab. All in all, solid. Well, guys, there you have it. The Candy Crane House. Error 07 fixed, ready to go in this customer's Airbnb. Like I mentioned before, crane games are not my thing, especially now that you know, and if you read the manuals on these things, they are technically rigged. Um, it's actually funny, on this one here, you could set it where you have to, I guess you could say, play 500 games until the actual claw gives the full strength. Um, so you could do the math on 500 times a quarter a game. Uh, you know, being younger, they were great. Being older, you could kind of see that they're rigged. Uh, but again, in this customer's mind, with him just kind of having it in free play in his Airbnb, I think it's a very cool thing. It's not for me. Uh, this is probably the smallest crane commercial-wise. It's a great height for the kiddos. My daughter has been playing with it, and uh, she just loves it. But she honestly just loves just seeing the claw go. She's not even trying to get the actual toy. And it's actually funny, a grocery store by me has a big one with the teddy bears. Wow, I didn't even mean to get that. <laughs> there you go, it's kind of a heavy pin, but. Um, like I said, the grocery store by us, uh, it's a dollar for one play and that's just a lot for a teddy bear. Uh, but whatever, it is what it is. Again, Vic VP. Game Case Arcades, Candy Crane House, fixed. So I, I, I'm trying to think of it in like a way of like a pinball, because it's like ball one locked. I guess cab one done. Next up, we're gonna see, we're gonna try out the Chicago Gaming. We're gonna either try that out, the cocktail table. These I opened up today, not too much to talk about with these, but game one. Done. Cheese.